Advances in wireless access points and Ethernet switch technologies are driving connectivity at the edge beyond 1 gigabit to multi gigabit. These videos explore what is multi gigabit. Why would I need more than 1 gigabit Ethernet at the edge? What does it mean for cabling within buildings? What would I use it for? What else do I need to consider when moving to multi gigabit connections? Do I need it now? And what does Ruckus Networks offer for multi gigabit solutions? What is multi gigabit? What is it for? Why should you consider multi gigabit? About 10 years ago, the predominant Ethernet switches moved to 1 gig Ethernet ports, superseding fast Ethernet, or 100 meg, the previously prevailing standard. Today, the overwhelming majority of enterprise class switches have 1 gig access ports. Almost all end user devices, desktops, printers, voice over IP phones, and wireless access points have 1 gig port standard. For most users and devices, 1 gig delivers adequate performance. That is, for most applications, the connection to the switch is not the limiting factor to performance. It's more likely that it's the internet connection speed, the application response time, or the user or device response time. As the demand for Wi-Fi has increased, so has the need for higher aggregate performance from the access points. More and more users each with more devices, laptops, tablets, phones, etc., using the latest Wi-Fi standards for higher performance, compounded by the increased dependence on wireless and cloud-based applications, has led to more total data through the wireless access points. With prior generations of Wi-Fi, 802.11a, b, g, and n, the APs could only support up to about 600 meg, though practically they couldn't process more than two or 300 megabits per second throughput. So one gig access ports could more than handle all of the data that the AP could push out. With 802.11 AC, the access point is now capable of up to 2.3 gigabit per second, though the practical limit is a little less. Most 802.11 AC APs come with either two one gigabit ports or some with 2.5 gig ports. The next generation of 802.11ax APs will begin shipping in the latter half of 2018, even though the IEEE standard is not expected to be ratified until 2019. Theoretically, the FIs will support almost up to 10 gigabits per second. It's too early to know for sure, but practical limits are likely to be much less. Today, the overwhelming majority of enterprise class switches have 1 gig access ports. As we discussed, that was sufficient to support 802.11n Wi-Fi since the total throughput possible through a wireless access point was below 1 gigabit per second. So connecting to a switch with a 1 gig port was adequate. Anything faster wouldn't make any difference. The AP was the limiting factor to performance. With the advent of 802.11ac and now 802.11ax, an AP has the potential of more than 1 gigabit throughput. Therefore, a 1 gig access port could now possibly be the bottleneck to performance for Wi-Fi users. Hence, the interest in connections greater than 1 gigabit per second between the access points and the switches.